Ni hao. So, what are we gonna do today, Lala? Pickled Chinese cabbage. Yes, it's pickled Chinese cabbage. So, what do we need? We need cabbage. We need the Chinese cabbage. One Chinese whole Chinese, Chinese cabbage. cabbage. And? One whole Chinese cabbage. Some salt. Salt. Some two jars. We need jars. So, you can have a big jar. But because I don't have a big jar, so I'm going to use two small ones. So what we need to do is, first, we need to cut the cabbage, okay? This one I have to cut first, alright, Lala? So let me show you how. Cut away the root. So what you need to do now is, make sure it's all clean, wash outside. You cut from here, here, down, okay? You just cut halfway, halfway here. So basically, you cut halfway here, and you can actually just tear it off. Look, look, look how pretty, right? And you have to cut into eight, eight parts, yeah? So same thing, cut half here, and Lala, you can tear it out. Lala, tear it out. Okay, I'm going to continue cutting. There you go, and this one as well. Alright, and I'm going to cut more. Because now it's only four parts. Cut half again. So cut half like that. And voila. Okay? Easy, right? Is it easy? No, it's not easy. <laughs> so cut half here again. Now. Same thing here. So I have eight parts already. This one needs to cut half more. Okay. Alright. I'm done cutting. So easy. So now, what you need to do now is basically you just have to put salt. I will put here. I will just show you one by one. You have to put salt all over. So this salt actually help to sort of kill whatever uh, Bacteria or germs or you know rub Lala you can do it as well. So just rub the, the salt all over Put it here Leave it here Yeah, rub, massage it again and we love to massage our food right? So it's like a spa It's like a scrubbing now, you know, a spa scrubbing to the veggie Put salt all over yeah, make sure. So it's like a kimchi, you know, but more Chinese style kind of kimchi, but just without the spiciness, without the chili. You know what's kimchi? It's Korean pickle. They do it with um, chili, uh, with some vinegar, I think. Yeah, vinegar. Yeah. So rub salt all over. Wow, Lala, you're putting a lot of salt. <laughs> kill all the germs. Not just kill all the germs, but it helps to sort of preserve the veggie. And that's how you make the pickle veggie. I think you have a lot. This is a messy one. Yeah, well, it's kind of messy, but it's actually not so messy. Alright, so all done. So now I just want to show you how I'm going to put it in. Actually, very, very easy. So it's that, and now you put the veggie in there. So, stuff it into the container. Can you see? You just stuff it in. Roll it around. Don't need the cut. Stuff it in again. You can, you can use this one or not. So press it down, make sure it's tight. I need to remove my ring. are kind of small but trust me uh, after a day or two uh, this thing will actually uh, sort of soften and, and become uh, what you call that uh, it will be lower you see yeah. 
<laughs> it's quite impossible. Yeah, I think we can make it. <laughs> so basically, just that um, you can have. Uh, you don't need to add any water actually. Did I say water just now? I did. No, you don't need to add any water. The water will come from the veggie itself. Uh, so it will be sort of uh, liquefied, not liquefied, but the water will come up from the veggie, and mm -hmm. that's it. I'm done. <laughs> wow, you did a great job! How did you get in so much? I couldn't fit in more. So um, you can actually also put a clean uh, rock, clean the rock, and put it here. Press it down, and then just cover it with uh, a clean wrap. Um, make sure it's tight. And the next day, this whole veggie will actually go uh, soften and uh, go down a lot lower. And that's when you can actually put the cover to cover it and leave it there for like about two weeks, and then you will have the pickle veggie. So anyway, I will show you in two weeks time how this will turn out to look. Okay, and you can try it, Lala. All right. So Lala one is ooh, not bad, it's ready. So yes, let's cover that. Lala one is so big. Yeah. So I will actually put a bit more salt. Yeah. On top and cover. It's enough. No, that one is not ready. Okay, that's enough. So let's wait for two weeks. Thank you so much. Make sure there's no air going in, yeah? So make sure no air going in and no tight tight. Do not open it for now. Uh just let it be, okay? So, well, two days ago, I was doing this pickle uh, Chinese cabbage, right? Mm -hmm. And you can see how much water it is. I didn't add any water in, right? It was just salt and uh, Chinese yes. cabbage. And now look how much water inside. Look at that. So, what I have to do is... Wow! I have to put a rock to press it down. Look at all that water coming Yeah, out. so make sure that the wedgie is probably soaked inside. Make sure you wash the rock properly anyway you can actually use bigger rock so it's heavier and that's it you just let it leave it inside <laughs> Allah is doing. wait press it down it's like a kimchi without the chili okay. so I should have taken some heavier rock but doesn't matter so yeah this one will be there for another maybe two more weeks or so and you can see the water is kind of covering the veggie yeah that's it and do not open anymore, alright? Just leave it there. <laughs> alright, see you Bye. in a few weeks' time. Salama. Put them! Oh, put them! Oh, okay! 12 days ago, we have shown you basically in the beginning of this video. Uh, it's already 12 days of our pickled Chinese cabbage. Look how beautiful. We didn't actually add any water. But, you see, the water actually comes from the vegetable itself. So it was, yeah, it was only salt and the veggie. Uh, so, I want to show you what you can use with this uh, pickle veggie. So, let me remove the stone. Wow, sour and salty, right? Allah is like, mmm, mmm. So, what happened is, you can actually eat this with, uh, you know, like with your um, rice, um, with your nasi krabu, or with your um, noodles, you know, as, as one of the like a pickle. Uh, you can also do a deep fried version, which I'm gonna show you. Something new I want to try. Look at this beautiful. Look at that. After 12 days, like how I'm toy like that. Like salted veggie. So basically, you can eat it, cut it up. Let me show everyone. Cut it, Lala. Wow, see, it's still very crunchy. Mmm, it's salty, a bit sour as well. Wow, you wanna try? A tiny piece? Just a tiny piece. It's actually very nice. It's nice, uh, you know, for a, like uh, a very spicy soup. It's like a kimchi, just without the spiciness. So what happened is, <laughs> I'm gonna use the. Tortilla, right? I'm gonna use the leaf part only. So, Lala, you can also cut the leaves. Like just this part. You see this part? Just this part, I need. <laughs> I only need this part. Come, you cut them. So, you take this out and cut those first, yeah? And what you need for the deep fried, two thirds of a cup of uh, any all purpose flour, any flour. And you will need half a uh, teaspoon of baking soda. You will need some roasted sesame. This one is pre-roasted already. And what I will put in is, I will put in about um, two tablespoons of roasted sesame. You know what? Maybe a bit more. Three tablespoons. I like sesame. 
You need a bit of salt. Just a bit because this is already quite salty. I will only put like less than half a, a teaspoon of salt. Alright, mix up this. And put one cup of water. One cup of water. Then you mix it up. See? It's, it's still quite watery. It's meant to be watery. Yeah? I'm heating up my wok with oil. I'm gonna do deep fried. I'm not a deep fried uh, fan, but yeah, once in a while, we do need to have that, you know, uh, certain cuisine or dishes you need to have to deep fried. Yeah, you mix it up. And I also have prepared uh, all the uh, some flour on a plate, on a flat plate. So I'm gonna show you what you need to do in a while. Oh, let me take away the stones. Oh, like this. Okay, done already. So this is ready. You can see it's very watery, which is perfect. All right. So now what you need to do is just take the leaves part. Oh, I not the cut yet. Okay, this part, can you see that? Deep. Just put it over the flour. Over the flour. And do this part, this side again. So basically both sides, you need to have that. Again. Make sure it's all covered with flour. And put into this, put into the wet mixture. Can you see that, Lala? And again, once you do that, put it, in put it into, no, put it back in here again. You see that, Lala? Yeah. Flip it over, then flip it over, make sure you cover it proper, properly. Ooh, I put more on the top. And if the oil is ready, yeah, and then pull it in to fry. So do that again. It's going to be quite interesting if this. Alright, better? Okay. <laughs> I forgot she has got short hey! <laughs> hey, not yet, not yet. Here. Uh, did you put this already? Okay, great. Well done, Lala. Alright, oh, so oh, repeat. It's okay. Repeat the same procedure. Go back in. Look at the sesame. Ooh, I think it's gonna be yummy. So cover it properly. Excuse me. Yeah, cover it pro properly. Front and back, all ready. Put it back in. I think it's gonna be so yummy. It's quite something new and fun to do. Deep fried pickle. Why not? Yep. Fun? Yep. Wow, it's looking nice. Only if this was a fire kitchen, they will take faster. Well done, Ala. Okay, okay, don't put your hand too much into the oil, okay? <laughs> you know, you need to open up the leaves, yeah? Open up first. Okay. Open up. Hi, open up every time. Yeah, woohoo! No, you just use a few fingers, you don't use the whole. Okay, dip it in. Repeat that procedure. Put it back in. And flip it over. And deep fry. Open it and deep fry. You're putting your whole hand in now. <laughs> oh, Oopsie. Alright, let's see. Wow, it's turning golden. Make sure I fry it front and back nicely. Looking great! Can you see how fluffy? 
It will be so crunchy, you know. So this is, um, I think it's a very uh, Chinese uh, sort of traditional kind of, uh, you know, Chinese, especially those who live in a, a winter country like four season. They also, they do a lot of pickle. Careful. They, they do a lot of pickle veggies so that they can preserve them and have it uh, for winter or, you know, when they need it. And uh, yeah, so it's it's fun to know that we can actually fry them as well and try to see how they taste. So one is ready. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. We're going to try it later. I'm sure everyone will like it. Oh, you know what? When it's salty and crispy like this, perfect with uh, to go with like spicy sauce. Did I show them yet how to make my kind of spicy sauce? No. Not yet, right? Hmm. Should I reveal my secret ingredient? No. No, yeah. I shouldn't. I like it, I shouldn't. Okay. Fine. Okay, Lola, we need more. Sorry. Don't need to say sorry. Dun dun dun. Looking beautiful. I'm going to cut some now to show you all. Are you ready? Are you ready? Come, let me do. Let me put in. You continue. You continue, come. Look, my fingers are all white, white. Allah is very, Allah is really enjoying. Dun, 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 dun. Try the snack. Let me put for you. Why is it all go up? Okay, now I'm gonna try. Where's my scissors, Lala? Oh, there. My Daniel Graham scissors. Okay, I wanna try some already. Come. <laughs> you wanna <laughs> you throw your hand? <laughs> Alright, excuse me, come. Let me try. No, I wanna cut it out. Look at how crunchy is that. Wow. Look at that. You wanna try a tiny piece? This is tiny because I don't want to. Okay, let me try. Oh my god! So good! The saltiness and the crispiness is really like a good com combo, you know? Nice, right? So yeah, I present to you my plate of fried, deep fried pickle. It's so nice. Try it at home. And I would say, actually, <laughs> the flour perhaps you don't need to put any more salt because the pickle itself is quite salty. Alright, thank you for watching. See you. Enjoy. Bye.